everybody. Welcome to KMMC ProStar, a learning initiative by Kotak Mutual Fund. I welcome you back on our video two of the module Business Growth Strategy. I am Ms. Minakshi Dubey, and I will be presenting the video two in front of you. Before we could go ahead, let us have a quick recap of what are the points that we had covered in video one. So video one, we basically saw uh, what is the business growth, uh, growth strategy matrix? What are the strategies that can be adopted, which included few in the traditional strategies, uh, like uh, having your own telemarketing team, having your own sales team, uh, you know, doing a society activity and IAP. We also saw a part of financial planning, uh, use of technology. When I mean use of technology, it was all about websites and mobile apps that can make uh, the life of customer easy and convenient. Okay, the social media, the importance of social media, uh, which will definitely help us in business growth. And then, what are the innovations that? What are the up new approach that we can come up with? Okay, so and in module two, that is today. We will be uh, looking at few of the most strategies wherein how we can target the served categories. What are the niche market segments? Super niche mark, uh, super niche segments. Uh, we'll have a short detail on the time management, and yes, last but not the least, the why part of the strategy. So let us move ahead and see that if I have to aim at business growth, then there is a certain category of the audience which has actually been untapped okay now when i talk about untapped then definitely uh, there are very a uh, few of our partners you know who actually have their business coming in from somebody who is in armed forces somebody who is in police service or even though if if there are customers there are hardly a few that can be counted on fingertips so the point here is that we need to uh, start uh, approaching them to get a larger audience from these categories. Okay, it could be firemen services, it could be any hospital staff. Okay, as I said, a policeman service, the traffic police, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is somewhere still an untouched category. Remember one thing: whenever we are targeting at this target segment or the served category, whenever we are targeting the served category, it is important that we use a top to bottom approach. Okay, it is important that first you get into uh, get in touch with the head of the department, and then the process goes from him. Because what happens is whenever in such cases we start from the head of the department. So basically, the, the head of the department has quite hold over uh, everything and his subordinates or his teams actually trust him. So what is happening here is the head of the department, if convinced with what uh, services we are offering, then the ice breaking part will be done by the head of department for us. And also remember one thing, when the message goes to this category from the head of the department, the conversion ratio is much higher as to what we will get in if we were uh, approaching them on one-to-one -one basis, okay? So this is the category, the category that is still untapped. So let us start focusing more on this category as well. The niche market segment, when I, whenever I talk about niche market segment, you know, few examples I can give, like, you know, having, having NRIs as your customers, having cabin crew members as your customers, okay? So basically, if I have to uh, talk, uh, talk about these people, then few things are very common in these people, okay? They have a good income flow, but at the same time, they have very limited time in their hands. So whenever we are dealing with this niche market segment, remember one thing, you know, we have to be really thorough on the product knowledge, on the process knowledge, okay? Because as I said, they have very limited time on their hands, okay? And for, let's say, uh, any redemption, any new purchase, you know, any, any, any process related thing, if, if you take a longer time, for managing or solving the process related issues for this category, then it is like, you know, you might, there are high possibility of you losing on to these customers. 
whereas what is important here is to have a good knowledge on the product on the process and plus also one reason why we need to target this segment is because the references that we get from this category are also uh, the uh, references that are coming from the niche market segments okay and if we are really tapping into uh, the niche market segment, then remember one thing: uh, let us let us adopt the family tree concept with this kind of customers. And NRI is there. I have started my business relationship with him. It is important that I extend this business relationship with his uh, with with the spouse, the kids, with the parents, with the sibling. So it is like deep diving into the same family. Okay, these are just a couple of them which I've given you an idea. The niche market segment is very, very huge. And if you're really willing, it is high time that, you know, leaving all the fear aside, we should start exploring this segment also. The next segment that I'll be talking about is, is something out of the world, okay? So now we have seen, you know, uh, the the kids are becoming celebrities. You know, the, the, the way India is going ahead, you know, it has now somewhere become easy to get recognized for those people who are actually putting a lot of efforts, right? We have seen there are so many reality shows, there are so many contests that are going around, you know, which actually gives a very uh, strong platform even to kids also. Okay, now be it sports or be it any entertainment reality shows, what we can see is we can see a new set of generation coming up very strongly and they are very focused. See, remember, they are very, very focused. They know what they want in life. So the point is, if we can, if we can actually, uh, you know, imbibe the investment discipline into this category remember this category is going to stay invested with us for a very longer period of time okay so this is something that we can really work on how will it work whether i will be able to uh, you know handle their portfolio or no it is all a different story altogether what we need to start is we need to start approaching these people and trust me, it is not difficult, okay, because we don't know who is going to be tomorrow's celebrities. Now, whatever people are, or, you know, whatever uh, people that we have been hearing about, you know, who have been like, uh, like the pride of India, okay, at one point of time, they were like any normal kid or youngster, right? But now with a lot of efforts that they have put in, they are seeing results for themselves. So the point is, it is, it is right to, uh, you know, actually get in touch with them when they are nobody, right? Because it is as simple, it says, you know, catch them young and watch them grow. So I am the one who has been in touch with them right from the early days. Then understand this relationship definitely results into better business relationships in future. Few tips quickly. Managing time is very, very effective or uh, is very, uh, managing time effectively is very, very important if I am looking at business growth. Right, because the one thing common that we have uh, that all of us have on this planet Earth is time. Okay, so it is very, very important for me to understand that how do I manage my time? Okay, so there are four quadrants. We'll see one to uh, one by one. So the first import, uh, the first quadrant comes under the crisis that I need to manage it right now. Okay, maybe the work here is now important and urgent. But the question is, was it always in quadrant one? The answer is no, right? So we will see at the quadrants, okay? Second quadrant is something which is not important, but urgent. Now I need to decide, okay? I need to decide here whether this work has to be done by me or I can delegate it to somebody else because this work is urgent, but it is not important for me. And if it is not important for me, then definitely I have to identify that who is the next person who can manage this board, right? Third is, uh, the next is the time wasters, okay? Which is here in the quadrant, if you see, it is it comes in the quadrant, which is it is not important also and not urgent also. So that can be avoided. A best example that I can give you is WhatsApp, a Facebook kind of a thing. Until unless you are not using it for business purpose, it can be avoided between our working hours, right? 
it can be avoided in our working hours because what happens is it is all about habit you know once i start enjoying that uh, videos or music or uh, you know uh, whatsapp forward then what happens is i know there are no notifications in my phone but still i will go and i will look into the old messages and i lost a lot of important time at time it is good only if it is helping you taking a small break if it becomes a habit that is something that has to be avoided okay the very important quadrant is something the work the things that comes into important but not urgent category remember my maximum focus has to be on the quadrant 2 okay because i have a, if i have a good quad, control on my quadrant 2 trust me my things will not get into the crisis mode i need to have a continuous focus on things that are important but not urgent i have some time in which i can complete that work but i have to come keep focusing on that in case if i don't focus on it on the time allotted then what happens is from this uh, uh, quadrant 2 things easily move into quadrant 1 for best example is here health right we all know that our health is important but we say it is not urgent does that mean that I, you know, actually keep compromising on my health? I do not work out. I do not take care of my diet. And if I'm doing that, what happens is after a few years, I get into crisis situation wherein I have invited a lot of disease for myself. Right. So be it professional life or personal life, managing time is very, very important. And if I have a control on time, my life will actually be sorted. Now, coming to very important point, the why part of the strategy. As I said, I will give you one reason why you need to focus on to your business growth. Okay. So here is the IFA AUM parameter that I will be sharing with you. So in category seven, where the AUM is less than one crore, we had 20,839 IFAs. In sixth category, where the AUM is between one to 25 crore, we had 19,557 IFA. From 25 to 50 crore AUM, 1,933. We have 1,085 IFAs who have their AUM between 50 to 100 crore. 699 IFAs whose business or the AUM come falls between 100 to 500 CR. For 500 to 1,000 CR, we have 45 uh, partners and people who have their AUM more than half thousand crores, we had 15 IFA span in there. Now, this was the data as on 19, uh, March 2019, wherein the total count on IFA were 44,173. Now, let me present you a fresh data. Okay. So, in category 7, now the number has moved to 24,532. Between 1 to 25 CR, we have 24,877 IFAs. Now you can see there is a good increase in the number of uh, IFA who has actually crossed over on the categories. In 2019, we had 1,933 IFAs between, who had AUM between 25 to 50 crore. And now we have 3,012. Similarly, there is an increase in the fourth category also. The number has now reached to 1,461 IFAs. In category C, we have 900. In category 3, we have 985. In category 2, where the business is between 15 to 1,000 crore, we have 64 IFAs now. And when I talk about category 1, of the IFAs who have their AUM more than 1,000 crore, we have 26 IFAs. And this data is very fresh data as on July 2021, okay? Wherein there has been a steady, there has been a good increase in the number of IFAs also, which is 54,957. And the total AUM that we have today is 6.63 .6 lakh crore. So what does this number say? This number says that there's a lot of opportunity that is available in the mutual fund industry. Okay. Now here you need to see in 2019, which was the category that we were in and where 
do we see ourselves in 2021? Is there a upward movement or there is a downward movement? And accordingly, and this data we get every year. And if you see that today I am in fifth category, you need to target that how, what I can do. Uh, and if I am in fifth category and I want to be in fourth category or third category, then what do I need to do? Simple, rewind, see whatever strategies we have spoken about. It is high time that we start up adapting and applying those strategies. See, anything that we learn new in life, okay, we will be able to see the outcome only when we start applying it. So, it is high time that if I want to see uh, myself I, I, and if I want to see my business growing, as, we, as I said, I have already discussed so many strategies. It is high time that we pick up the strategies and start working on it. That is all in uh, today's module. So here is where our business growth strategy module ends. Before I leave, yes, this is always there. These details I always share at the end of the session. I will also like to tell you that uh, with Kotak Pro Start, with KMMC Pro Start, the learning initiative, we have also started a new learning path wherein every Tuesday we will be releasing a business development video. And every Friday we will be releasing uh, videos on mastering MS Excel. So if you want to take the, if you want to, uh, if you're open to learn, okay, and want to utilize this business ideas and Excel ideas, please subscribe to our channel. And after which you will be able to view our videos. Thank you so much. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.